Hey everyone, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from GPAnswers.com and I wanted to show you something that's kind of come up lately, gotten some questions on it, I've heard some chatter about this, which is basically, hey, how do I install the new updated GPMC on my Windows 7 or my Server 2008 R2 machine? So the good news is that for at least uh, one of them, you don't have to do very much. It's, you don't have to go download or do much anything. It's already there for you on Server 2008. Now, it's only gonna be there automatically, do nothing, if you've made your Server 2008 machine a domain controller, okay? 2008, 2008 R2, you make it a domain controller, automatically gets the GPMC. Now, if you also want the GPMC on your Server 2008 or R2 machine, you can do that, but you have to install it yourself. Now, how do you do that? Let's take a look. So this thing right here is called Server Manager, and I brought that up. It's this icon right here next to the Start menu. Um, right here, you can see it says Server Manager right there. And it turns out the Group Policy Management Console installs itself as what's called a feature. So how do you get that installed? Well, you just click on Features here, click Add Features, and you're going to just click it. Group Policy Management, you can see it's already installed. Now, if you don't want to use the... Uh, the cool GUI way, you can use the even cooler command line way. Let me show you how to do that. Let me close this guy out here. So if you want to install the GPMC by command line on server 2008 or 2008 R2, you just type this, server manager command dash install, oops, got to type it right, install GPMC. Now I already have it installed, so it's going to flip out a little bit, but the idea is pretty simple. It's going to do the same thing on the command line as I would have done using the uh, cool GUI interface. All right, you can see no changes are made because it's already specified, yada, yada, yada. It's already there. Okay, so that takes care of Server 2008 and R2. The question now is how do we get it for Windows 7? So what we're going to do is we're going to click on my Windows 7 management machine here, and uh, basically you have to download it. And and I've, I've renamed them here because the names are these complicated uh, uh, download names uh, based on the uh, package ID. So let me just show you something really quick here. You're going to Google, Bing, or otherwise search for remote server administration tools for Windows 7. It's kind of hard to find. There's not a great URL for this thing. So if you just search for remote server administration tools for Windows 7, like I've shown you here, you're going to find it in two seconds. Now, don't forget, there's a 32-bit and a 64-bit, and they're kind of big, actually. So only download the one you actually need as opposed to wasting your time. So here you can see there's 200 meg or 227 megs. So I've already installed it. And where does it install? Actually, installs into the control panel under, under uh, programs and features. It actually becomes part of the operating system. There are these things called MSU or Microsoft Update Files that become part of the operating system. So what you're going to do then is to turn Windows features on or off. Go ahead and find Remote Server Administration Tools. Again, it's a feature. And I'm going to just click on the Group Policy Management Tools. Hey, and that's it. You're ready to go. So. Again, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from gpanswers.com. If you're interested to get more tips, tricks, and all sorts of fun stuff on group policy and get training as well, you can learn more about that at gpanswers.com. Thanks so very much, and I'll catch up to you soon.